Alright, going through and installing Windows 7. Um, already, uh, I've went through, I've downloaded the um, beta from Microsoft site. And I uh, figure I'll go ahead and do a recording of the actual full install process. The only part I want to cut out is where I need to put in the um, product key. Um, that way you guys get the full experience. Um, okay, so far it looks pretty much just like uh, a Vista um, installation. I'm running this off of a uh, virtual machine. Um, I'm actually going through setting it up uh, with uh, VMware Workstation 6.5. Um, now, as I was saying, there's one thing I've already noticed with the ISO image when I went to download it. I noticed in the file name it said Ultimate. Um, my theory here is they're going to go through and do like they did with um, uh, Vista, where they have the different versions of you know basic. Um, home premium uh, business and um, ultimate and of course with Vista the differences on those um, basically basic you didn't have the arrow interface um, home premium you got arrow and DVD playing capability business you had arrow but you didn't have DVD capability um, but you could connect to an active directory and uh, ultimate edition uh, you got all that stuff you know you could connect in active directory you got the media center uh, you got dvd playing capability not to say you couldn't play dvds with you know um, basic or anything like that um, you just had to install extra software it didn't come with the operating system uh, join domains all that good stuff and you got the quote unquote ultimate extras um, there was kind of a little bit of flack, I guess you could say, uh, about Vista Ultimate Edition because the Ultimate Extras weren't that ultimate. You got the Dream Scene Windows background capability. You got a poker game, and I think there was like one or two other little stupid things. They're so stupid I can't even remember them. Um, oh, Sound Pack. There's a Sound Pack. You can go online and get a Sound Pack and eat day of the week um, so I'm hoping they make the ultimate version of Windows 7 actually a lot more ultimate than just oh we added in a video background capability that would just be stupid um, so we'll go on through with that I'm going to let it you know do its thing here. I'm going to just let it record, but um, you know, I'm probably going to trim this video down some. It'll probably be multiple parts, so just so you know. Okay. So, this, uh, I don't want to call it Vista for some reason. Windows 7 has finally finished copying files and did the first phase of the uh, installation. It took it quite a while actually but I'm thinking it's because it's on a virtual machine I'm not giving it too much RAM so I'm not surprised there I think performance is going to be pretty much the same as uh, Vista um, mostly due to when I did a Vista install on a virtual machine it was about the same speed so and now it looks like it's doing some final installation phases <clears throat> now if that one screen before is supposed to be the uh, new Windows startup screen it's definitely an improvement over Vista's because it Vista's is pretty much non-existent it's just a green bar across the bottom I really don't understand why Microsoft would have done that and now it's doing the rest of the completing installation phase okay 
So it finally finished copying its files, doing its thing. And now we've got a setup Windows screen. This owner is probably going to ask for product key next. Nope, set up a password for your account. Password hint required. Password hints required. I don't like that. Um, I never like putting in password hints. Now I'm going to stop this. And All right, that's done. Use recommended settings. <clears throat> Eastern time. That time is wrong, and so is the date. It is well, helps if I have num lock on. <clears throat> so far it looks pretty much just like Vista <clears throat> and this seems to be a little bit different than what Vista had after you did all that stuff it then did a um, checking your computer for performance thing um, finalizing your settings. I don't remember that screen popping up, so this is different. Did you see that start button there for a second? That was odd. Hmm, fancy. Again, pretty much looks just like uh, Vista. Hmm. That's interesting. Windows Desktop Update. I'm thinking it's a newer version of Windows Update they're doing. And I notice there's a send feedback thing up here at the top right. <clears throat> From what I understand on what I've read, um, pretty much every single window in um, the 7 beta, uh, as you can guess, it's for testing purposes only. Um, has this send feedback button where you can actually click it, fill out a form, and send it to Microsoft, you know, if you found bugs or whatnot. So hopefully, uh, Sevens want to get more attention to bugs than, uh, Vista did. Vista got bug attention, but it was like they just ignored it. Um, I'm what I would like to see is them put it into a, a database you could log into and then each one you could see if you know is this already taken care of is this going to be addressed or what but yeah I don't blame them keep the number of bugs you know publicly known to a minimum that's a lot of settings for Windows update thing. 